Hey Oppo Gamers, welcome to another episode of the Oppo Esports News Update, our very last episode of the year. I'm Illustrado, and I'm going to be your anchor for the evening. We're letting you in on all the latest news about the Oppo Monthly Super Cup, the Oppo Game On Community Cup, and MPLPH Season 8 Playoffs. And for our esports buzz, we have yet again another special guest coming in from our Oppo Gaming Ambassadors. Yellow Team crowned as Oppo's Monthly Super Cup winners for October. Oak Esports is the first Oppo Game On Community Cup champion. Blacklist International defends their throne at the MPLPH Season 8 Finals. James Reed and Glocko Gaming prove Oppo Reno 6 5G's gaming capacities at the LOL Wild Rift matchup. Another Super Tournament was upon us this October during the Oppo Monthly Super Cup. And like last time, it happened on M Games in the Gcash app. Let's find out more from Asurai about all the happenings during the latest cup. Asurai, take it away. Thank you, Illustrado. For the month of October, the top 12 players from our leaderboard were teamed up into four groups. Green team composed of Evelyn, Keith, and Hans, which first competed against Christian, Glide, and Reese of the blue team. It was a close and intense fight as they played Oppo Blast, but with Evelyn scoring 537 points, it pulled up their team score at 1,185 points, which made them advance to the playoffs. In the next series, White Team, composed of Jing, Denzio, and Christian, went up against Luisa, Maximum, and Alway of Yellow Team. It was a battle of the Radiant 6 defense, and after adding the team player scores, with a total of 44,332, Yellow Team ended up defending Reno 6 and advancing themselves to the playoffs. For the Grand Finals, the game is Oppo Tower a new game that anyone can play in M games, available on Gcash just like any other Oppo branded games. Instruction is that players should build the tallest tower he, she can have without letting the bricks fall. After intense matches and a close fight between green and yellow team, with a total of 298, yellow team was crowned the champions of the Oppo Monthly Super Cup for October. Make sure to like the M Games Facebook page to know more about upcoming legs for the Oppo Monthly Super Cup. Back to you, Illustrato. Thank you so much for that quick rundown of the Oppo Monthly Super Cup, Asteri. Watch out for the November leg at the M Games Facebook page. And you can also head out to the GCash app now, where M Games is currently available. Go look for G Life, the gaming icon, and click M Games. You may now play Oppo Blast. Reno 6 Defense, and Oppo Tower anytime. More Oppo branded games to look forward to, so stay tuned. Now let's head on to our first surprise for our Oppo gamers watching for the evening. Are you ready to win 300 pesos of in-game currency of your choosing? Remember to comment your answers on the Oppo Philippines Facebook post about this episode, and do not forget to use the hashtags hashtag OppoGameOn Hashtag Oppo Reno 6 and hashtag gaming in portrait for a chance to win. Here's the first question of the night. Which team lost to the winning team at the Oppo Monthly Super Cup? Comment your answers right now. And of course, don't forget to use the hashtag. Next up, more new blood enters the scene during the last leg of the Oppo Game On Community Cup. And after four months, the grand finals of the Community Cup took place. I'll let Womi take the stage so he can tell us all about what went down during the October leg and the Grand Finals. So Womi, tell us all about it. Thank you very much, Illustrado. We're back with the final edition of the Oppo Game On Community Cup, this time for the October leg and playoffs. After a four-month-long qualifier, with 128 teams competing each month, we're finally down to our top four. We had Anarchy Esports, Oak Esports, Aug3 Esports, and Karma Synergy, the best of the Philippine Pro-Am scene. In a series of quick games, Oak Esports and Aug3 Esports secured their slot in the finals. Every moment of their games felt exhilarating, filled with moves you would only expect from professional players. As we entered the KOL show match, we had the Oppo Gaming Ambassadors battle it out against members of the Oppo Game On community. Team Oppo Gaming was filled with Oppo Gaming Ambassadors, Ashley Gosing Pao, Danica, Shai, Isa Bacon, and Event from Team Leap. 
Opal Game On community members called Team C8 Aguila dominated the best of three series with two swift wins and left the Opo Gaming Ambassadors amazed with their skills. As we enter the championship match, you could already feel all the emotions coming through the plays of Oak Esports and Og3 Esports. Oak Esports took Game 1 in an eruption of plays all around the map, but Og3 Esports were quick to take back Game 2 with a 12-1 dominating score. Down to the final game, both teams seemed more careful, but after Oak Esports' Mumu Kid started to catch fire on his Selena, the fans already knew what was about to happen. The signature pop-off coming from Oak Esports was enough to subdue the efforts of Og3 Esports to take the inaugural Oppo Game On Community Cup Championship. The MVP of that match was West from Og3 Esports with a KDA of 4. Overall, Paquito, Hayabusa, Mathilda, Esmeralda, and Kagura were picked a total of 4 times each. The most damage dealt was Kana from Oak Esports, who dealt 126k damage across the broadcasted games. Oak Esports will be taking home 50,000 pesos of the 100,000 peso prize pool, while the second to fourth place will get portions of the remaining 50k. All teams who qualified for the playoffs will also receive 5 pieces of Oppo and Co earbuds. That's it for this year's Oppo Game On Community Cup report. It's been a swell ride casting all the games and delivering it to you. For the last time this year, Illustrado, back to you. That was such a great breakdown, Womi. A big congratulations to Oak Esports for being the first ever champions of the Oppo Game On Community Cup. It's a bit sad knowing that after four months, this tournament is now all over. But of course, there surely will be another one next time. It's time for another round of trivia questions for you guys to win 300 pesos in in-game currency of your choosing. The question is, which team came out on top in the October leg of the Oppo Game On Community Cup? Comment your answer on the Facebook post about this Oppo Esports News update and on the Oppo Facebook page. Link on the description box. Do not forget to use the hashtags, hashtag Oppo Game On, hashtag Oppo A95, the smart performer. Now, let's head on over to MPLPH Season 8 news. Like Oppo Game On Community Cup, Season 8 of the MPLPH has now come to a conclusion. So much has happened by the end of the season, so we'll have to have Renmar tell us the story on what exactly went down. So Renmar, the floor is yours. Of course, Illustrato, after seven weeks of regular season action and four intense days of playoffs, the new kings of MPL Philippines Season 8 were crowned. Or should I say remain crowned, as Blacklist International successfully defended their title and are now the second team to be named back-to-back -back MPL PH champions. Blacklist International's road to being named back-to-back -back champions started roughly as they had to crawl from the lower bracket after dropping 3-1 to to their rival Smart Omega. Without their star player Oheb, they struggled to contain Omega in the second day of the playoffs. But Blacklist did not have to worry for long as Oheb returned to the squad for their next match against Nextplay Evos in the lower bracket. Despite the improved season, Blacklist International ended the run of Nextplay Evos as they defeated them 3-0. In the lower bracket finals, Blacklist would again face their rival Smart Omega. Rejuvenated and on a mission to defend their crown, Blacklist got revenge for their initial loss to Omega in the playoffs, defeating them 3-1 and closing this chapter of the Blacklist Omega saga with a victory. The grand finals would be won for the history books as Onyx Philippines looked to dethrone the defending champions. Onyx PH had a dreamlike dominating playoffs run before the grand finals as they defeated Nextplay Evos and Smart Omega 3-0. Their perfect run was stopped in game 1 as Blacklist took control of the series right away, but Onyx Philippines got a game back immediately with a resounding game 2 win. But in games 3, 4, and 5, Blacklist would rewrite the code they've been known for all season by thrice picking up one of Venus's signature heroes, Matilda, and a new ban-worthy pick for Wise in the jungle, Bane. Onyx Philippines looked lost and overwhelmed by this sudden shift and could not stop Blacklist from successfully defending their title and being the second team to be crowned back-to-back -back champions. Blacklist defeated Onyx PH 4 games to 1. 
It was a full circle journey for the VY's tandem as their first two trips to the MPLPH Grand Finals in Season 4 and 5 was at the expense of losing back-to-back -to, -back to Sunsparks. But now, three seasons since their last Grand Finals loss, VY's have rightfully earned the title of back-to-back -back champions. With this win, Blacklist International immortalized themselves in MLBB Esports history. Regular season MVP Haji was named the Grand Finals MVP as well, finally capturing the long elusive title he's been chasing his entire career. He would also be named in the team of the season alongside Blacklist teammates Oheb, oh My Venus, and Edward. Kyrie of Onyx PH joined the star-studded cast in the jungler position. RSG Philippines jungler Demon Kite was the unanimous Rookie of the Year. Smart Omega jungler Ryzen came in second place, while Next Play EVO's gold laner Hesa came in third. Along with dominating the season, Blacklist International also dominated the stats, leading all teams in total kills, average kills, total assists, average assists, and KDA. It's been another amazing season of MPL Philippines and it's been really great to share it with you. It's also been an honor to recap every weekend of MPL Philippines here on Oppo Esports News Update. My name is Ren Marsana Cruz, analyst for MPL Philippines. Back to you, Illustrado. Thanks for that amazing season ender update, Renmar. Congratulations to Blacklist International for defending their title. Let's continue supporting them at the M3 World Championships this December. Now here's another trivia question for you guys. What is the tournament where Blacklist International advanced to after taking the title in MPLPH season number eight? Comment your answers on the Oppo Philippines Facebook page about this episode now. And do not forget to use the hashtags, hashtag Oppo Game On, hashtag Oppo Reno 6, and hashtag Gaming in Puerto Rico. We're done covering all the latest esports news and it's time to introduce our very special guest for this episode's esports buzz. Last November 4, 2021, a fun LOL Wild Rift matchup happened between Team Glocko and Team James. Besides having James Reed during the special event, we also had Oppo Gaming ambassadors on board. Glocko Gaming, Jillian Santos, Mermo, New Spade, and Kang Dupit. Plus four lucky Oppo Game On community members got to play with all of them. After this special event, our casters asked James Reed a few questions to let us know about his gaming experience on the Oppo Reno 6Z 5G phone. So Kang, what you got for us? Thank you so much, Illustrado. Last November, for James Reed and Google Gaming went head-to-head -head with their teams to play League of Legends Wild Rift matchup. I was one of the lucky few to have played during this special event. All thanks to Oppo. During the event, casters Osiris and Ottoluz were able to talk to both Team James and Team Gloco, asking everyone what their expectations were going to this special show match. James Reed, Mirmo, and I were in the same team, while we played against Gloco, Jillian Santos, and New Spade. After three rounds, Team Gloco took the win for this matchup, but James wasn't disappointed at all. He said he was very lucky to have played against Team Gloco since they were all so skilled. On the other hand, he really enjoyed playing with our team and said it was an honor he got to play with me and Mirmo. Of course, we couldn't miss asking him about how much he loved the Oppo Reno 6Z 5G. James said that his Oppo phone really made his whole gaming experience better. James really loved the Oppo Reno 6 game focus mode because of its uninterrupted gameplay. He also mentioned how much he loved its battery with its long battery life and fast charging feature. To quote him, the Oppo Reno 6Z 5G really elevated my gaming experience. It's really designed for gamers. Everyone had such a great time playing with each other even just for a few hours, and it was all thanks to Oppo for giving all of us this opportunity. <laughs> I definitely can't wait for the next matchup, especially if it means getting to play with my fellow Oppo Gaming Ambassadors and James Reed again. You can have your hands on the Oppo Reno 6Z 5G and other products this Christmas season. The joyful Oppo sale will be from November 19 to December 31. Visit Oppo Philippines Facebook page or the Oppo website to know more about it. This is Cam and thank you for having me. Back to you, Illustrado. Thanks, Kang Dupit and James Reed. We hope we can watch more exciting matchups like that in the future. Oppo Gamers, our fifth episode is coming to a close. So with that, don't forget to follow Opal Philippines on Facebook and on TikTok. 
Join the Oppo Game On Philippines Facebook group to get exclusive access to freebies and activities and a chance to interact with the Oppo Gaming Ambassadors. And for all the Oppo users out there, enjoy perks and benefits by downloading the My Oppo app. Thank you for watching the Oppo Esports News Update. Once again, I'm Illustrato, your anchor, signing off. Good game and good night. See you all next time.